Calgary drivers on their commute along 14th Street. This museum entrance may not even cross their mind as they pass by. But to historians and rail enthusiasts, this roadside display says a thousand words of a story over 70 years old. Two former Canadian Pacific locomotives reside here. Steam Locomotive 5931, known for its powerful title of Selkirk class, reminds visitors to this area of the age of the steam-powered giants that once connected the country. A much smaller engine rests opposite the mighty Selkirk. Canadian Pacific 7019 story is too often overlooked, shadowed by its larger steam-powered counterpart only meters away. This locomotive wasn't designed to pull massive freight drags over the mountain grades, nor was it destined to lead hotshot passenger trains through the vast Canadian prairies. This compact little workhorse was built for a much more important task, assembling those big freight trains in the busy rail yards so the freight cars could be delivered to points across the country. Out shopped on September 23, 1944, at a cost of $115,000 each, 7019 was part of the first 10 production-run diesel locomotives delivered to the CPR between 1943 and 1944. In the mid-1940s, steam was still king of the rails, and the newfound diesels were not yet taken seriously by railroaders who considered them a passing fad and an experimental technology. Come to find out, thanks to the war effort, that these motorized machines could perform rail yard duties over four times as efficiently as a steam engine could, and at a fraction of the cost. Canadian Pacific 7019 and identical sister 7018 were the first two diesel locomotives to see service in Calgary's Aylith Rail Yard. Built by the American Locomotive Company, or ALCO, they received the designation of S2. The S stands for switcher, a title that describes their job of switching trains together. 7019 was removed as Calgary's switcher and transferred to Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, where it was later retired in 1985. Recognizing the switcher's importance in the story of Calgary and the CPR, it was saved by the Locomotive and Railway Historical Society of Western Canada, who had the fine engine restored to its original 1944 likeness in the steam era colors of black and Tuscan. By 1986, plans were in place to display the locomotive out front of Heritage Park Historical Village in Calgary, Alberta. Later that year, the little switcher was loaded on a heavy-duty low-boy trailer and moved from the rail yard up to its new home at the park entrance. This was no easy task. The engine first had to be turned and oriented correctly, at the expense of traffic as the road was blocked off during this first phase. workers carefully spot the switcher into position, ready to be transferred onto its display track. It is critical to ensure perfect alignment and stability, as but one mistake could land the 230,000 pound historic artifact upside down in the middle of 14th Street. With the trailer now aligned and tied down, the truck separates and gets out of the way. Workers then bring in a temporary ramp to transfer the engine from the trailer to the rails. Only 
after this ramp is reinforced and declared stable, can they begin to very slowly and gingerly roll the engine forwards. Notice the people on board 7019 during its move. Actions like this would be prohibited from operations of this sort today. After a few hours, Canadian Pacific Alco S2 7019 is officially spotted onto its display track. The following year, in 1987, the CPR steel caboose will join the switcher, completing the entrance display. Perhaps the most interesting part of 7019 is that it is the oldest locomotive in this display. The Little Alco was built in 1944, while Selkirk 5931 was built five years later in 1949. Today, the Selkirk, S2, and Caboose remain on display and continue to remind Calgarians and tourists of some of Alberta's 1940s rail heritage.